Well, how's everybody this morning? A little foggy here this morning. It's always foggy here after it rains at night. That's why they call it White Valley. <laughs> Anyways, how's everybody doing today? Uh, Josh and Sarah, how are you guys doing? I hope everything's okay. More Cal. Everybody out there. Well, let's roll, boys. Buckle up and driving. Okay, uh, little story about me and my son one night. I had this little holiday trailer about, I don't know, 10 feet long. We had parked in my driveway at one of the houses. And I bought this new 1,000-watt stereo for a house stereo. Me and my son were doing some... I don't know, some kind of psychedelics, I don't remember what, but we decided to hook this 1,000 watt stereo up my little 10 foot fucking trailer. Rattled the windows a little. Unfortunately, it was about 2 o'clock in the fucking morning, we had that <laughs> little trailer just turned into a big fucking speaker. <coughs> oh, there was a rap on the trailer door and opened his lazy cop standing there. Well, of course, me and my son were giggling our asses off. She convinced us to turn the stereo down a little like this. She's a nice lady. It was good. Tell you a little story about the senseless of the government. I guess at one time, uh, that's why they arrested me. They didn't arrest me for no license. They arrested me because I was prohibited for driving for fucking some time, I guess. I didn't know. Well, I guess I knew because they sent me this letter to government. And three of the charges on the letter were no driver's license written right on the letter. And with their letter, they sent me an envelope. And they requested that I put my driver's license in the envelope and send it to them. If I didn't, I was going to be subject to going to jail for 10 days. So I guess I was subject to go to jail for 10 days, seeing as I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> I can send the idiots. Oh, hey, a little tip for you guys, man. You know, walk up to a buddy, ask him he's got change for 100 When he says, yeah, ask him if he can lend you 20 <laughs> My auntie used to do that all the time. Fuck sake. Um, a little advice for any young guys out there deciding that maybe they want to get into the drug business. I've known a lot of drug dealers in my life, man. I only know one guy that made any money at it. And the reason he made the money is because he didn't do it. But he ended up with his uh, hands haywired to the steering wheel of his pickup truck while he watched his fucking house burn. Well, some members from some motorcycle club killed him. So... There's that story, boys. Take with it what you fucking want, but that's my advice. Don't even bother, man. I mean, not with all those crazy heavy drugs, man. Yeah, fucking weed, fuck them, right? Like, fuck off, but the rest, mm mm. Hey, one night, this one 120 miles an hour, fog and red lights. <coughs> Me and a cousin, a buddy of mine, <coughs> we bought some uh, acid in Vancouver, heading out to my aunt's house. And of course, I was driving. I had a learner's license at that time. I guess I was 16. I had a learner's license. My cousin was sitting beside me because he was old enough to be with me. My learners in them days, I think he only had to be 19 or some fucking thing like that. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I didn't take any. They, Him, my buddy, took someone as soon as we got it just to see what would happen. It was always a safe thing to do. If there's fucking two or three, you just one of you do first and see what happens because you never fucking know, right? Anyways, it was foggy as hell. And once again, for some reason, I don't have dashboard lights in my truck. I don't know why, but whatever. So we got fucking pulled over by this cop. Well, I wasn't speeding at all, folks, right? 
Well, these two fucking idiots, they're starting to get off on the acid. Well, the cop's at the fucking window, right? And uh, I said, he said, I said, what's wrong? I wasn't speeding. He says, well, you're going a little fast for the road condition. I guess you got to slow down when it's foggy. <laughs> Anyways, I said, well, I, I couldn't see the speedometer. Well, the cop looks at me, he goes, what is it, that foggy in here? Well, them two fucking idiots started laughing their fucking ass off. Anyways, the <coughs> cop let us go. Later on that night, we're heading back to Vancouver, and it's the middle of the fucking night, and it's foggy, you can't see fuck all. Well, I had an old 65 Chevy pickup that had a hopped up 327 in it with a fucking hearse shifter on a tranny and all that shit, right? Ugly as fuck truck, but that don't matter. <laughs> she can be ugly as long as she goes. Well, I got into a fucking bit of a race on the highway with this guy in a Monte Carlo. My speedometer in my truck went to 120, and she was buried. You can see about three lines in front of you. That was about fucking it, man. And we seen by the time we seen red lights, it was too late because we were already through them. And folks, we probably went racing like that for 20 miles. <laughs> But whatever, that's in the old days before all the fucking crazy cop shit. But anyways, um, mushrooms. BC's famous for weed, folks. But I'll tell you, the fucking mushrooms grow here cra like crazy. Especially in the lower mainland. When we were teenagers, at home, the soil my parents got come from one of the farms out there so of course that fucking mushroom spores as well mushrooms would come out every morning me and my sister be out there about five in the morning picking a fucking baggie full to take to fucking school and and flicking them so the spores would fall off and we'd get more mushroom every afternoon my stepdad would be out in the lawn trying to kill fucking mushrooms could never figure out why they just kept growing <laughs> christ and in them days, if you had a, in a bag fresh, they couldn't do nothing. It was only when they were dry they did something. So they would fucking eat them fresh. What difference it made? <laughs> well, that's it, folks. I got to go. I got to deliver one of my gardens to the seniors' residence here in town. Get them some fresh fucking good vegetables for them. Okay. Have a kick-ass day, man.